Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2020 Detroit Autorama and I came across a 1969 Ford F100 that had been turned into a Bronco. Very cool build, I think y'all are gonna like it. Let me get the camera turned around and take a quick look at it. Keith, what a cool truck. Tell me a little bit about it. It's a 69 Ford F100. It was a long bed pickup converted to a Bronco. How'd you do that? I mean, you did it. You pulled it off. I'm going to tell you that. But just tell me what you did to make that happen. The roof come from a 72 Ford uh, van. Okay. And we had to cut it, shrink it, and fit it on there. And then a lot of handmade metal panels. <laughs> tell me tell me this, this some of the big stuff. Or did you have to cut it down? Yes. It was actually too wide and too long. Okay. And so we had to narrow it and, and shorten it to, to make it work with our project. Was there, is there any of the original truck left, or did you pretty much have to fabricate all the body panels for it? The doors forward is pretty much the original truck. Everything okay. from there back has been cut, modified, and rearranged. Right on. Tell <laughs> me a little bit about what's up underneath suspension-wise and all. Uh, it actually has a modified Chris Austin chassis. Okay. Uh, wheel wood brakes, uh, 429 with C6. All right. And Coilovers, air? Uh, air. Air. It's okay. on. Yeah, it's on air ride. Got a Accu Air management system, so it does all the leveling itself. Right on. How long uh, has it been done? Uh, we just finished up uh, about two days ago, and uh, we've been working on it about two years. So this is a real unveil. Yeah. Oh, cool. Tell me about the interior. Interior is a uh, local interior shop, uh, Speedway uh, Interior. They done. Uh, uh, I can't even think of what the leather's called, but uh, it's a, a weathered leather. Okay. And uh, all that is a custom one-off from him. There you go. Tell me what color is it? It is a Toyota tan. All it's right. off the new Tacoma trucks. Cool. And we wanted we wanted to go with a color that looked like it would have came on these things back in the day. And it does. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a color. And I like how you use some satin in certain places and shiny in others. That's yeah. really nice choices there. Yeah, the whole chassis underneath is done in a bronze like the wheels and, and to match the inside too. Tell me about the wheels. The wheels are a, uh, a billet specialty. We, uh, they didn't come out with the color that we used, so we painted those and matched them to the, to the vehicle. What size are they? It's got uh, 20 uh, by 10 on the front and 22 by 12 on the back. Man, what an awesome build, brother. Thanks Thank so much you. for giving me time today. Thank you. <laughs> I ran out of interview before I ran out of video. I mean, this thing is just absolutely stunning. And some of the parts I wanted to revisit was underneath this thing. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's way cool from the top side, no doubt about it, but you would just never expect it to be done like this up underneath. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I love how all those panels fit inside the frame rails. Just very cool. I love the colors. I love the, the different the accents that they use. Just a very cool build for sure. And we didn't get to spend as much time on some of the things as I would have liked to. And it's underneath being one of them because I think that again the top side of it is so cool that people will be overwhelmed by the fact that they took like a Ford Ranger pickup truck and a van and turned it into a Bronco that you would again never guess that they did the type of work that they did up underneath this thing too just absolutely stunning guys great job And I didn't figure anybody would uh, complain about another look at that 429. And again, some very nice paneling work, but yet the motor sits like a ring in a box, just like it should. It's not all covered up. I like that they use the uh, flat on the uh, engine compartment that matches the shiny of the body. So there you go from the 2020 Detroit Autorama, the Lone Ranger, a 1969 Ford F100. It's been turned into a Bronco. How cool is that? Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.